So, Gordon, tell me, what's the update on the fitness competition? Well, rather than me just telling you, maybe I should just take you over to Clubhouse Number 1. I'll introduce you to Peter. And uh, maybe he can also, in the process, build up those muscles a little bit. Peter, I'd like you to tell me a little about this battle that's going on at the fitness centers. Well, this battle of the fitness center is part two, the rematch. So Ooh. we had it last year for the first time. It was a competition between two fitness centers, Clubhouse 1 here, and the community center, fitness center on the third floor of the administration building. So what we did was we decided to do an event where it, it was strictly designed for the participants that use the fitness center, number one, and something that's geared to strength, endurance, agility, and coordination. So we came up with 12 events to have a friendly competition that started up friendly. friendly huh? Then it became a rivalry which was really nice. Now when is that going to take place? It will take place this year August 3rd through August 20th so it will be about a three week competition. We'll have usually one event on either Tuesday or Thursday. Peter, I understand last year that Clubhouse One won this uh, trophy. Yes, they, they were victorious. I believe it was a, a minor victory, a uh, minor amount of points they won by. I think it was about four or five points. So it was close. Close, close battle and they won the first trophy, or the trophy right there, up there in the, in the mantle. Mm. And um, actually that trophy will be the trophy that they're battling for again this year. So when can uh, they sign up to enter this event? We're going to start sign-ups June 1st, and it's going to go all the way through July 31st, so we can make sure we have enough applicants and then know how many t-shirts we need to order for each competitor. So Team Red will be Club Os One, and Team Blue will be the Community Fitness Center. So we have some people that wear blue because they like blue better than That would red. be me. I like blue. <laughs> okay. I would pick totally on colors like I do the horses. Are the two teams aware of their competitors? I mean, do they know what their, their strengths and weaknesses? Uh... No, actually it's a mystery. It's, ah. They're, they're not sure who their competition is until the opening ceremonies where we'll actually call each resident out by their age and their oh. names and last year we did uh, some nicknames for them but this year we're just going to keep it strictly professional and we're going to say okay here in the 65 to 69 category for the males it's Bill Farinacci versus oh, okay. <laughs> Artie Rosenstein those are two names that I just thought of on a whim <laughs> Um, but those those are are how they'll learn learn who their competition is, and they don't know their skills. They don't know who's going to be stronger, who's going to be faster. And that was the greatest thing that we learned was people that had no competitiveness. They became fierce competitors during this event. So we brought people into the center in our slowest period, and we also formed new friendships. And then we also gave each resident the exposure to each fitness center which sometimes doesn't happen because there's people that live in this phase and right. they only come here but they got to go to the other other fitness center and see how wonderful the equipment is over there. Over there. Well how do you think this uh, this will fare Matt, with rematch too compared to last year's? Well I'm hoping for double the amount that we had oh. last year. We had 42 so I'm hoping for over 80. Wow. And we, we already have over 27 interested people on the, on the list for each facil facility. But we have some strenuous events and some easy events for the residents so they can have some fun as well. We want it to be fun, but we also want it to be very competitive. One of our new events that we're going to have this year, and this is exclusive. Uh oh, exclusive. It'll, it'll be a hill run that we have over by the tennis courts over by Club Off 7 will be also a tug of war, a team oh, tug of war. Oh, exciting. So that's going to be fun. We're going to have either male versus male, female versus female, or a combination of male and female. So those are our three new events that we're going to have this year to the existing 11 that we had last year. Who was the oldest competitor? That would be Sophia Whale. She was 96 last year. You're kidding! She competed for the Clubhouse 1 team and she did very well in all of the events that she entered in. Wow. No tug of war for her. No tug of war for her, <laughs> but she will definitely do a six lap race and she'll definitely do the obstacle course and 
I love her. Yeah. So she's she's a very very <coughs> nice lady that is still very competitive in, in her late nineties. Well, whose idea was this? Two of my staff members, uh, my fitness coordinator Ed Romo and one of my senior fitness assistants Matt Larson, they both decided we need to have some type of competition or some type of event during the summer that will help bring in people into the fitness center. And they came up with the Battle of Fitness Center. Friendly competition between the two fitness centers to see which one was better, which one was stronger, which one was faster, which one had the better agility. So when they brought the proposal to me, I looked it over, thought it was a great idea, and we went with it, and here we are today.